Many describe Huntington's disease as having ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's simultaneously. We are here with Kathleen Delp to learn a little bit more about this disease. Thank you, Rachel. Huntington's disease is an inherited neurological disease that is slowly progressive and the symptoms occur over a long span of time, maybe 10, 15, 20, sometimes 25 years. And often the symptoms may not start till adulthood, maybe not to the 40s or even up to the 60s. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about treatment and what is involved in that. Well, the treatment is based on the symptoms and the symptoms involve involuntary movements, cognitive decline, some emotional dysregulation, um, and also sometimes psychiatric symptoms and personality changes. But it can also involve difficulties with swallowing and with speech. So the treatments are designed to treat the symptoms. Currently, we have no cure for Huntington's disease, but research is very promising, and I think we may have something in the, in the near future. Yeah, what about testing? Can a person know or be tested to see if they are likely to get Huntington's disease? Yes, we've had a gene test for Huntington's disease. It's a single gene on chromosome four, and we've had that for over 20 years now. So we have a pre-symptomatic testing program at Spectrum Health that we've had since 1996, where individuals can come in and find out if they carry the gene most of the time before they even show symptoms. Wow, that's really interesting. You also have support for yes. people with it and their families. We do, we do. We have a monthly support group that meets in ADA. It's called HD Living Positive, and it's for individuals with Huntington's, caregivers, spouses, and other individuals as well.